And let's bring on our pal, Todd Friedman, to talk about our latest issue of Old School Gamer Magazine. Todd, what's up, man? Hey, Gunther. How are you doing? Good. I want to show our beautiful new issue here. Got mine right there? Yeah. Issue 36. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, we're closing out our sixth season. As you saw, we're entering our seventh. Uh, very excited. I've been a part of Old School Gamer since issue one, and I'm pretty excited of how it's grown over the past six years and how much support we've gotten from all the uh, gamers out there. It's one of those projects, I want to call it a project, a passion project here, where everybody can get involved with. You know, it's one of those things where we all remember playing these retro games back just a few years ago. When yeah. we're when we're small tykes, just a few years ago, and it's a uh, it's a nostalgia thing for us, and boy, it's we absolutely love it. So let's talk about this current issue, man. Yeah. So yeah, this issue is a pretty exciting. I have actually have a couple articles in here. Um, I was able to have the for, uh, fortune to do articles about the Lucasfilm gaming franchise, all the Lucas Arts games from Star Wars, to Indiana Jones, Rebel Assault. Um, so it's pretty much a history of all the uh, Lucas art, uh, Lucas film games. Nice. But we also have uh, different educational games like uh, um, Where in the World is Carmen San Diego, and uh, you know games like that. And uh, games, man. Yeah, those are those are great. Oregon Trail. That's a that's a classic. Um, yeah. So I mean, it's six. We have sixty, almost seventy pages in this issue. It's a pretty thick issue. Um, definitely worth getting. There's my, uh, there's one of my two articles. Yep. I'll definitely talk about Lego Star Wars. That's probably one of their biggest uh, draws for LucasArts. Um, but I also interviewed, I had the, a nice um, opportunity to interview Keith Christensen, who is the founder of the Houston Arcade Expo. And he was very cool the first time I met him and he sent some pictures in for the article. Um, so it was very exciting to, to, to talk with him. And there's a question and answer is about two, three pages of that. Um, along with some other interviews from other of the writers of the magazine. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Yep. So, yeah, it's a very great, it's a really good issue. Um, we're working on the next issue as we speak. We got some articles going. Um, but like you said, that Kickstarter, we can get people to, 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 to get on board, get these physical issues in your mailbox, which is like, just like the old days. We need to get those back in, you know, out in the, out in the uh, open. And uh, yeah, very excited. Definitely. Yeah, the people, we have had questions. Why do you need a Kickstarter every year? Well, the reason mm -hmm. is we're a volunteer organization here. We are not funded in any way. Yeah. <laughs> There's yeah. a lot of stuff that goes on in the background that has mm -hmm. to be paid for, you know, uh, editing, all, uh, all this. I, I, and I'm not even going to pretend that I know even a quarter of it because ryan does all that stuff and luckily yep. all i handle is this tiny part of it just the show here the, yep. the old school gamer live but there's a ton of stuff that has to happen to produce yep. and publish one of these magazines and, and, and actually to jump on that point the reason we've done it the last couple of years is we are now uh published from amazon you know so you know that there's a there's a there's a cost there we, we need to you know um produce the magazines uh as they are ordered and it's really high quality paper i mean it's really good stuff from amazon so you know definitely. kickstarters is a great way to to, to get to that level definitely well todd appreciate you being on the show man to talk yeah. about the magazine and make sure everybody get in on the kickstarter i wish i had the link on there uh that would have been smart wouldn't it <laughs> um well, you can go to Old School Gamers' uh, website, um, OldSchoolGamerMagazine.com. Uh, the link's there. It's also on Facebook. Yeah, we got a blast all over the place. If you want to help us with the Kickstarter, you can find us on the face or find the link on our Facebook page. It's very easy to find. Yep. Yep. Awesome. And uh, thank you again for having me. And uh, hopefully, I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, we'll have you on again. Appreciate you, Todd. Thank you. See you guys.